right, another Wednesday, another KOF car character trailer. And yet this time, we actually got two, which I'm really surprised at. We got both Ryo Sakazaki and Robert Garcia right off the bat. So I'm surprised we're seeing Art of Fighting now, especially after we just got the new Orochi team. So this is going to be good. Let's see what we got. I think that's supposed to be an intro to, um, from his game. But gosh, he is jacked! He had the same treatment as both Terry and, I think, Andy. My gosh. Robert Garcia. Yep, there's their interaction together. Oh! Wait, what was that right there? Hold on. I spawned that in like the top left corner. There's like some weird text up there. Um, in Japanese. I'll have to like probably translate her later on when I have the chance. But, um... Let's continue. Yep, there's the tornado kick into a shore you and a no wow. Hold up, did I break a block or something? I need to re see it. look to see that again. Oh, it looks like it broke a block. <laughs> what? Where did the where did his fireball go? Where did that fireball go? Hold on, I'm sorry. Let me see that again. Wow. Oh gosh, the corner juggles. <laughs> let him let him live, man. Let him live. Huh, it didn't work. Oh. All right, there. I like that parry right there. Now Robert wants to do it. Okay, he's mad. Yep, you can definitely tell he's mad. Oh my gosh. Wow, they both did it at the same time. <laughs> so they got King to take Yuri's spot. That's, that's crazy. Because I know they're else, she's also part of the original Art of Fighting roster for like their game, as well as I do remember seeing her in... Um, a bit of their um, interactions for um, KOF Destiny when they were explaining King's backstory. Well, which is also great. You guys really need to watch KOF Destiny. It's a really great series on YouTube where it goes through all of KOF's storyline for 94. And it's like this really great 3D CGI, which I liked. <laughs> Similar to like the one in KOF 14, but a bit more crisp with the original models, of course. But let me rewatch the trailer again. Sakazaki. Heads. I call heads. What was it? Let's see if I missed anything. I'm really curious of what that means up there. Okay, so that translated to reversal. So I'm guessing when they were probably when they were starting development for um, the trailer, or probably for like the uh, HUDs, it's I'm, it's probably the um, interactions or like the um, visual effects for like where they say like how many hits you do and probably how many. Um, what's the counter and damage so i'm guessing that was like probably the start for like um reversal so like that's probably um something they'll later on probably explain so for how it will look because like i'm guessing that was like left out for the trailer 
because like I still see it there so I'm guessing because um let's see that move again because he did it like a counter so or a parry move so that makes sense yeah that's what yeah so that makes sense so he does the reversal and then that message pops up and because that always appears for any other game as well. Let me see if they do that again in the trailer. I also love that double short Yukin. That was looked great to see. There's his weak Hadouken right there. <laughs> Much better. Okay, he's actually improving with that. Pressure that scares me. Where's the roll? Huh, it weird. It didn't say at that time. I thought they would say Oh, okay, wait, yep, there we go. It says it again, so that's definitely a reversal. That's actually interesting. Oh. I'm curious at how the uh, HUD would even look for this game because um, the HUDs are not normally like shown at m at all until like they start showing off the gameplay trailer. Cause like when I first saw like the MK trailer, they waited a bit to show off the HUD, similar to how um yeah Mortal Kombat did that, and then Guilty Gear did that for like a while for the c character trailers because we didn't. I don't think I got to see the HUD until November 2019 for when they showed off Chip and Potemkin because like the HUDs were really ugly. Oh my gosh. They, I still remember how they looked. They, they didn't look much better now, but still, I still cannot forget that. But I'm curious of what they're going to do for Mai's team because it's it's still going to be her and Yuri, but who's going to be their third member is what I'm curious at since King is gone. Are they going to get Alice again? Are they going to get Blue Mary? Actually, wait, no, that's not possible. She's going to probably be on a team with, um, who is, I forgot his name, um, Billy Kane. Yeah, he might be, he, she might be on a team with Billy Kane. But that was the uh, Art of Fighting character trailer for KO15. That definitely showed her expectations. That, thank you guys for watching. And be sure to get your, be sure to also get your coldest water as soon as possible. 10% off when you use promo code GENGAME. And definitely a lot more to come as well as my giveaway. So thank you guys for watching. And also, make sure to check out my stream later on Friday night. Because I'm definitely be playing some Resident Evil 8 Village.